Deputy Speaker, I want to um, report to the House about uh, an issue raised with me by a delegation of local constituents who are members of the Get Up organisation who attended my office on the 7th of May. And just to indicate to the House that I'm joined um, by a famous television personality and acclaimed feminist in talking about this issue in the House today, of course, I'm just referring to Peppa Pig. Uh, members may be aware that the Shadow Minister has expressed concern about the future of uh, Peppa Pig and indeed put out a press release recently expressing Peppa Pig roasted by Abbott's budget porkies. So I'll just invite uh, Peppa Pig to uh, have a seat here while I talk about what the Get Up campaigners were raising with my office, Deputy Speaker. Obviously they were concerned because the Prime Minister before the election had indicated, and I quote his words from the 6th of September 2013, no cuts to education, no cuts to health, no change to pensions, no change to the GST and no cuts to the ABC and SBS. The Get Up petitioners, like so many people in my electorate, greatly value the ABC and in particular in our area we have an ABC regional radio service which is very important to our local community. Sadly, as much as uh, I was hoping that uh, I could give them good news after the budget, I was not able to do so. It was another broken promise by this government. The budget, in fact, cut $232.3 million from the ABC and another $8 million from SBS. It abolished the Australia network, despite the fact the network reaches up to 167 million households giving our vital Asian neighbours and the world an insight into Australian life and values. The ABC Managing Director, uh, Mark Scott, confirmed the ABC cuts were a broken promise and said ABC services will be affected. And I quote his words directly, the funding cuts will be disappointing for audiences. The government gave repeated commitments before and after the election that funding for the corporation would be maintained. Uh, Deputy Speaker, there are concerns I know, not only in my own area, but right across rural and regional Australia. And I know many of my colleagues who are in the chamber with me now who represent areas that uh, across across those areas of uh, Australia understand the absolute importance of the ABC to all of our communities. And I think it's fair to say that they feel particularly betrayed because they were given a promise before the election that there would be no cuts. Labor invested strongly in the ABC. We believe in the public broadcaster and we are very concerned to see that it is retained as a strong provider of services across all of our communities. And I will continue to fight, I can assure those Get Up members, for the